Hello, my name is Chris Kurzik and I'm the Principal Engineer at Athabasca Engineering Solutions, AES for short. And uh, what does AES do? Well, first of all, we provide third-party value evaluations. We provide training and certification. We provide equipment re-rating. A little bit more about third-party value evaluations. Are you concerned about the value you are receiving from your engineering designs? Are you concerned about safety issues or getting the best equipment for the service? AES provides an independent third-party value-added reviews of static and rotating equipment. A bit more detail about training and certification. AES provides training and certificate certification for workers. Did you know that 60% of workers claim that training and development is the most important policy for a company so the, uh, for their careers? A training program with certification is available online and instruction is provided by highly skilled, experienced engineers. If there's any specific topic you wish to be reviewed, please contact us at AES. Equipment re-rating. Operators are constantly looking for ways to improve efficiency and reduced costs. This may require changes in flow rates, for example, or, or, or changes in pressure. Equipment upgrades may be required for more efficient modern technology. AES provides management of change methodology in conformance to API and CSA. We work closely with industry standards and equipment manufacturers to get great results. Okay, let's talk about the outline. First thing we're gonna do is talk about API specifications, the overall philosophy. We're gonna talk about the API standards. We're gonna talk about packaged equipment standards. In this presentation, we'll focus on an overview of API 12B and 12D before we run out of time. about API tank specifications. API tank specifications and specifications in, in general provided by API, they are intended for the storage of production and exploration fluids. So if, if one goes outside the scope to say mining or, or pulp and paper, then you're basically outside of that range of, of the specification. They provide economic uh, tank designs for improved safety, and they achieve that by standardization. API specifications are periodically revised they are, are, are typically revised every, every few years, but there has been periods where they will revise them quite often. So you need to look at the specifications to make sure that your specifications are the latest and your clients' ones that they're referencing are the latest ones. Here's some more information about API tank specifications. API has three broad categories of specifications, standards, recommended practices, and technical reports. Standards are mandatory specifications like API 650 for tanks, for, for large field welded constructed tanks. Recommended practices would be like uh, entry into tanks would be a recommended practice, but it's not mandatory, but they're useful of to for input into specifications or, or company requirements. Technical reports are really tend to be quite heavy duty um, technical information um, about the details of why there are practices and the kind of testing that has been done. 
So if you really want to dive into there, then technical reports provide you with a lot of information. API equipment requires nameplates. This means that even when an equipment is being modified, the equipment, the equipment nameplates, the API nameplates need to be updated. So for example, if you're doing a hot tap and you're adding a nozzle to a tank, technically you need to have that nameplate updated to reflect that. API equipment manufacturers require certification. So if not anyone can be an API equipment manufacturer. They have to get certification, uh, but they're self, they're, they tend to be self-regulated. Uh, There's no third party. But to get the seal for, for that work, um, they, they have to apply for that. Specific API specifications for tanks that we'll be reviewing in this presentation include API 12B, which is for bolted tanks, and for 12D, field welded tanks. We plan to, in the next presentation, to discuss 12F, 12P, followed by API 620, and then API 650 storage tanks. The bolted tanks. Bolted tanks are, is a fairly old spec. Uh, the capacity is fixed with that design from 100 to 10,000 barrels. It's designed specifically for above ground surface. You will see them vertical and cylindrical. It has a, an internal pressure built into it and a slight external pressure. Uh, there's no temperature guidance. more detail about API 12B tanks. You'll note that these are packaged designs for the intention of minimum engineering so that it is because it's for upstream service, you just go ahead and you, you, you select the, the dimensions you need from a catalog and away you go. So for example, 12B, the official sizes vary from nine foot to 54 foot on diameter, which is three to 17 meters. The height is eight to 24 feet. So note that these tanks are, are smaller than the 620 tanks and the 650 tanks. They have standard engineered connections. The vacuum and thermal uh, requirements are set. You can't vary them. And uh, there's no live, Live loads are there, but the wind over turning loads aren't considered, and the same as, as temperature. Now, applications. The big thing about this is the lead time is very small. These are, are can designs. You can go and buy these tanks very, very sl slow, quick design period and when you get there you don't need welding or hot permits so if there's is an issue in issues of productivity um, you know because you're working in a classified area this may be something you'd consider this is considered for like all api 12 specs it's really designed for oil field service so you a, a caution is some jurisdictions they have restrictions on the use of API 12 tanks. So check with your local authority. Another, another issue associated with this is that it's subject to wear. So if there's a lot of abrasive material, like um, is we recommend it only for water or for clean crude oil. API 12D field welded tanks. Quite a rare phenomenon is, is this type of tank. We see more shop welded, field welded tanks in the 12 series, but this standard does exist. I have yet to see uh, an application. Uh, I'd love to hear from someone who has. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is uh, good for capacities of 500 to 10,000 barrels. It's a can design. It's uh, just like 12B. It's vertical, cylindrical, above ground, but it's closed roof. 
and it has, uh, has an internal pressure um, as shown there and it has an external pressure and the temperature is not applicable. It's There's minimum engineering in this design. It's all uh, prepackaged, even the dimensions. Now this tank is small compared to API 620 and 650 dimensionally. It's got a closed roof, as we said, and it's a packaged tank with limited number of options. Um, the, like for example, the diameters vary from 15 and a half feet to 55 foot. The height 16 to 24, standard connections, this, the, the venting and thermal requirements are fixed. Live loads and, and those issues aren't even considered. I hope that you found this presentation useful and valuable to you. This was provided by Athabasca Engineering Solutions. We'd love to hear your feedback and, and your thoughts on further videos. And we'd love to hear from you. Maybe we can do some business. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Take care for now. 